Well, good evening, folks. And our New Testament reading is from almost the end of the Bible, from Revelation chapter 20, verses uh, 7 through to verse 15. The first part deals with the judgment of Satan. The devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur. OK, we're, we're OK with that. The devil who has created so much problem uh, in the world, who's, who, who tempted people to sin, who has uh, deceived people, who has caused people to rebel against God, he gets his just desserts. The final victory belongs to God. And we're happy with that bit. But what about the next bit? I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them. And each person was judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name is not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Modern Christians tend not to talk very much about the judgment of God. Perhaps we should, because scripture speaks about it a lot. Near at the end of time, people are judged not by the greatness that they have achieved in the world's eyes. The great and the small face the same judgment, but by what they've done to please God. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you that you will be victorious, that the devil who has plagued humanity, who has rebelled against you and led people into rebellion, will get his just deserts. We give you thanks uh, that you will be victorious and we rejoice in your victory. But Lord, we acknowledge that we too will give an account to you of all that's been done in our lives. And Lord, we pray that your spirit will be at work in us, forgiving our sins and working your grace, that our salvation is worked out with fear and trembling, that we are ready to stand before that great throne. Our Father, we thank you that we plead not our own righteousness, but the righteousness of the Lord Jesus, who gave his life to save us. We plead not our good works, but the good work done in us by the Holy Spirit that works its way out in the things that we do. We come to you this evening, as we will come to you on that great day, depending on your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.